Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Climate change, a.k.a. global warming, a.k.a. the Earth is on fire. There's been a report released by a think tank out of Melbourne. Let me get the name of that thing, of that organization. Breakthrough National Center for Climate Restoration. They released a study that wasn't really a scientific study, but it drew on the recent studies and all the, and the information that is out there that is known and that is available to the masses. And what they did is they attempted to model a future, a uh, future scenario based on existing research. And it paints a very dark future for humanity. Now, before I get into it too much, I want to discuss a little bit, a few other things, but I will say this particular discussion is in this article and in this paper released by this Melbourne-based think tank um, backed by a former um, Australian military chief is based on if temperatures were to rise by 3 degrees Celsius between now and 2050. Now, there have been a lot of people saying that this is not likely how it's going to happen. Not likely how it's going to play out at all. They're saying that what's going to happen is, yes, many of these things, if not all these things mentioned in this report, will be taking place by 2050. But it doesn't mean humanity will end by 2050. It'll just become, it'll just get to a point where we can't do anything to change it, folks. Reports say that somewhere around 15 years from now, 12 to 15 years from now, we will reach a point of no return. Which is a point we reached back in 1990, 91, something like that. Where they said if we did make changes back in the 80s, by 91, we wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be able to reverse it. Well, guess what? We made the changes necessary, and it pushed that date back. Unfortunately, though, those changes were not enough. And we have to do more. So let's get into this a little bit. Mind you, this story, or this paper, is about what happens if 3 degrees Celsius warming happens. So what I'm going to read to you now is a few things that happened at, that'll happen at 1.5 degrees Celsius warming, and then again at just a half a degree more than that, at 2 degrees First, for the 1.5 degrees Celsius. You wouldn't think that's a huge amount. But the global population exposed to severe heat at least once every five years would become 14%. The number of ice-free summers in the Arctic would become one out of every hundred years. The sea level rise would be roughly 0 0.4 meters. By 2100. Well, by 2100. Species lost. Vertebrates would be roughly 4%. Plants, we would lose roughly 8%. They lose at least half their range. 8% of them. And coral reefs, we would lose roughly 70 to 90%. Now, I'm going to read you from the bottom up there on this little list at 2 degrees Celsius warming. Coral reefs 99% destroyed. Species lost. Plants 16%. Vertebrates lost 18% of their range or 8% of their range. Double what it was before. Just like the plants double what it was at 1.5. And we're talking about half a degree warming here. Sea level rise based on the science by 20, um, 2100. 0 0.46 meters. That, that's, that's a bit considering it's going, going up half a degree. The ar number of Arctic free summers would increase to one in every 10 years. And the extreme heat, the global population exposed to severe heat at least once every five years, 
would be at least 37%. Now, like I said, this is set up, this whole story is based on what would happen at three degrees. Okay, and this is what the dire, one of the dire warnings is here of what could happen by 2050, or at least start happening by 2050. They drew on existing research and, a scenario, and scenario planning to forecast that if global temperatures rise by 3 degrees Celsius by 2050, 55% of the world's population across 35% of its land area would experience more than 20 days of lethal heat per year beyond the threshold of human survivability. That should be enough, folks. Now, I don't know what to tell you, but my suggestion is that we do something. I'm not saying get rid of your cars, but if you're in the market for a car and you don't need a truck or you don't need a big SUV, then get a hybrid. If you have the money, you're wealthy enough, don't buy that fancy sports, you know, gas guzzling sports car. Buy a Tesla or another electric vehicle. Those are some things you can do. Reduce your carbon footprint. P try to produce less, less, less trash, less garbage. Realize, too, that recycling plastics are, are, is not necessarily a good thing. It's actually causing a lot of harm to the environment as it is. So, like I said, I'm not saying that we have to change everything about our lives. But if everybody could do a little, if everybody could do something, I think we'd be better off. Like Bill Nye said, the world is on fire. And if we don't do anything about it, we're going to have a big problem. Anyhow, thank you for watching. This has been The Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck. I'll see you down the road.